that you shall be able to know about the development of forensic science in India, learn about different states and regional forensic science laboratories, and know about state and regional fingerprint bureaus also. The application of science and technology to the detection of investigation of crime and administration of justice is not new to India. Though our ancestor does not recognize forensic science in, the, in its existing form, but scientific system in one manner or the other seems like to like to have a trailed in the analysis of crime. In detail, an Indian references, it is originated uh, Kautilya's Arthashastra, which was inscribed about 2300 years ago. Indians studied various patterns of papillary ridges 1000 years ago. It is assumed that they recognized about the persistency and individuality of fingerprints, which they used as a signature. Even Mr. K. M. Kata, a common giver to nature, specified that a Chinese archives showed that the usage of fingerprint in an ancient kingdom of southern India. The Indians saw for long that handprint called Tarjia were unique. The use of fingerprint as signature by illiterate people in India introduced a centuries ago was considered by some of the people as ceremonial only till it was scientifically proved that identification of the, from the fingerprint was infallible. Let us now understand in detail the development of forensic science in India with the help of visuals and graphics. Government Chemical Examiner Laboratory Poisoning is injury or death due to swallowing, inhaling, touching or injecting various drugs, chemicals, venoms or gases. Many substances such as drugs and carbon monoxide are poisonous only in higher concentrations or dosages and others such as cleaners are dangerous only if ingested. Children are particularly sensitive to even small amounts of certain drugs and chemicals. Poisoning being one of the earliest methods of killing a human being, widespread knowledge was gathered regarding its production and use. Throughout the 19th century, when the cases of death due to poisoning posed a problem to the law enforcement agencies, a need was felt for isolating, detecting and estimating various poisons absorbed in the human structure. The first chemical examiner's laboratory was so established for this determination at the then Madras Presidency under the Department of Health during 1849. In future, alike laboratories were established at Calcutta in 1853, trailered at one each at Agra in 1864, Bombay in 1870 and Lahore now in Pakistan to provide scientific support to the criminal justice delivery system within their limited means. These laboratories were generally assisted by the medico-legal work and equipped to handle toxicological analysis of viscera, chemical analysis of food, drugs, biological analysis of blood and semen stains, etc., and various materials on which excise can be levied. The neighboring states and union territories used to get analytical analysis support from these laboratories. Anthropometric Bureau Anthropometry refers to the measurement of the human individual. An early tool of physical anthropology, it has been used for identification for the purposes of understanding human physical variation in paleoanthropology and in various attempts to correlate physical with racial and physiological traits. Anthropometry involves the systemic measurement of the physical properties of the human body primarily 
dimensional descriptors of body size and shape. After making significant progress in the identification of poisons, various attempts has been made to identify people, specifically criminals, in a rather disorganized manner. One of the methods was that policemen will effort to remember convict's face to recognize him later if present in another crime. Another attempt has been made by the Criminal Investigation Department that is CID by maintaining the records with the help of photography of each identified criminal along with the complete sketch of his appearance. Finally, in 1879, Alphonse Batillon introduced anthropometry for criminal identification by taking body measurements. Thus, a Bureau of Anthropometric Measurements was introduced to maintain the anthropometric records of criminals was well known in 1892 at Calcutta. This system stayed widespread till approximately 1900s. Fingerprint Bureau The idea that fingerprints could be used as a means of personal identification was first put forward by Sir William Herschel district magistrate of Hooghly district of Bengal province in 1858. Later, Dr. Henry Falls gave the idea of tracing a criminal from the latent prints found at the scene of crime and came to the conclusion that no two fingerprints are alike. Based on the idea of Herschel and Falls, Sir Francis Galton the renowned English scientist established scientifically the five principles of uniqueness and permanency in fingerprints. It was then that Sir Edward Richard Henry, the Inspector General of Police, Lower Bengal, with the able assistance of two Indian officers, namely Khan Bahadur Azizul Haq and Rai Bahadur Hem Chandra Bose, developed a system of classification of fingerprints, thereby discarding the anthropometric system of identification. The first ever fingerprint bureau in the world was established at Writer's Building at Kolkata in the year 1897. William Herschel, the gatherer of the district of Hooghly, Bengal, established that Patterns on the fingertip of an individual not ever altered throughout his lifetime are specific to him or her. Herschel applied this knowledge and skill to devise a system of registration of finger or thumb impressions of native contractors to safeguard the interests of the government contrary to the disclaimer of agreements by them. Subsequently, he prolonged his registration procedure to prison regulations for identifying convicted criminals. In 1877, Herschel could not alter his concepts into practice. Edward Richard Henry's in 1891 appointment as the Inspector General of Bengal Police made the thumb impressions compulsory in the record slips along with anthropometric data to avoid mistakes in the identification. Long before 1897, it was mandatory to maintain the duplicate criminal records with impressions of 10 fingers separately. A limited nominated Indian police officer, namely Khan Bahadur, Azizul Haq and Rai Bahadur, along with Hem Chandra Bose, to work under Henry's general supervision till the classification of fingerprints was evolved, which remainders the basic system even today. It was Khan Bahadur and Azizul Haq who progressed a mathematical formula to addition of Henry's idea of arranging slips in 1024 pigeon holes based on the fingerprint patterns. Rai Bahadur and Hem Chandra Bose 
prepared further involvement to the fingerprint science by progressing a prolonged system of subclassification a telegraphic code for finger impression and an organization of single digit classification henry seeks approval from the government to replace the anthropometric data by fingerprints for the identification of habitual criminals government readily agreed so in 1897 first fingerprint bureau was established in calcutta by sir edward henry igp bengal by scrapping the bertillon system other states quickly followed and by 1910 facilities were available in whole of india almost thus India became the first country in the world to start the personal identification solely on the basis of fingerprints department of explosive as explosives can be used for destructive activities it is important to find out whether the explosion was accidental or planned the department of explosives was established at nagpur in 1898 when the first chief inspector of explosives was appointed later on five local workplaces at calcutta bombay agra madras and gwalior besides with three sub offices at shivkashi gomia and asansol were opened department develop competence to provide a scientific solution by examining clue materials with reference to explosives as well as the possible causes of explosions their knowledge originated nearby in police investigations in the crimes associated to explosions and for evolving numerous requirements under the explosives and petroleum act in 1902 first police commission in india recommended the establishment of cid sections of police which developed facility for firearm examination police photography handwriting and fingerprints examination along with other rudimentary scientific aids government examiner of questioned document shimla as the need for identification of the handwritings present on the secret documents connected with the indian independence movement the british government of bengal created the post of government handwriting expert of bengal and appointed mr c r hartless the then superintendent in the ag's office in bengal to this designation in 1904 The whole setup was shifted to Shimla in the year 1906 and was placed under the control of the director CID. Mr C R Hardless was appointed on the freshly established post of handwriting expert for the government of India. He was then replaced by Mr F Brewster, a police officer from the West Bengal CID. and was nominated as the government examiner of question documents followed by mr r stott v o j hodson in 1944 and mr s n sen was the first indian who took over this post in 1949 earlier the work of this office was mainly narrowed to the identification of writings present on secret documents later the scope of the branch of science increased to other cases finally the services of this office were thrown open to criminal as well as civil court cases for the duration of the world war 2 this association was assigned the extra work of secret censorship containing the recognition of invisible writings and training to military personnel in this field of science keeping in the requirements similar type of laboratories were set up at kolkata and hyderabad also presently geqt kolkata shimla and hyderabad has been merged with cfsl kolkata 
Chandigarh and Hyderabad respectively. Serologist to the Government of India Realizing the importance of forensic serology in examining the human blood and semen and its stains, identification in criminal investigations, an organization known as Serology Department was recognized in Calcutta in 1910. The head of this institute was elected as Imperial Serologist to the Government of India. Dr. Hankin assisted in the foundation of this department. However, the scientific techniques for serological investigation were at the beginning stage. This institute providing valuable scientific backing by investigating biological constituents for crime examinations. After independence, the department was changed as Office of the Serologist and Chemical Examiner to the Government of India. This helped the other chemical examiner's lab in blood grouping and other serological testing. Footprint Section of Criminal Investigation Department During the year 1915, a footprint unit was recognized below the CID. Government of Bengal, which helped the police authorities to identify criminals through the examination of footprints collected from the scene of crime. A book, Bombay City Police, written by S. M. Edwards, mentioned an instance in which one Hindu constable, whose keen observations related to footprint peculiarities, helped in the identification of culprit in a burglary case and read as follows. On numerous instances, Indian constables distinguished themselves by acts of bravery and examples of professional acumen. The detection of a burglary in the showroom of an English firm was entirely due to the action of a Hindu constable who noticed on a piece of furniture the marks of a foot possessing certain peculiarities which he remembered having seen before in the foot of a convict. Note forgery section in criminal investigation department. A section for detecting forgery in currency notes was recognized under the CID Government of Bengal in 1917 to undertake the examination of forged currency notes. Likewise, Government Mint and Security Printing Units at Nasik also established their own research laboratory for identifying cases of counterfeit and forged currency notes. The Revenue Department also opened its own research laboratory for identification of opium and narcotics, liquor scrutiny, and estimate the purity levels of valuable metals like gold, silver, etc. Ballistics Laboratory As the threat of firearms grew, a minor ballistics laboratory was established in 1930 along with arms expert under the Calcutta Police to deal with the examination of firearms. Other state CIDs are also followed by establishing a small ballistics laboratory help the police in the criminal investigation. Scientific sections in the criminal investigation department. It was during 1936 Investigating agencies realized the importance of scientific disciplines in the detection and the investigation of crime. As existing facilities were inadequate, so to create more facilities and create complete usage of all the scientific disciplines, a scientific section was established under the CID in Bengal and amenities were produced for investigation of bullets, cartridge cases, firearms, etc. used in committing crime. Limited other states also in progress for opening 
scientific divisions in their criminal investigation department where examinations on fingerprints, footprints, firearms and questioned documents were also done. Photography gained importance as an important scientific tool for recording of results. Increasingly, more and more divisions of science were comprised and the laboratories grew maturity over the years. These scientific sections transformed themselves into the existing day forensic science laboratories. State Forensic Science Laboratory, Calcutta. The first state forensic science laboratory in India was recognized in the year 1952 at Calcutta by merging government chemical examiners laboratory. This laboratory turns out to be entirely functioning in the year 1953. The medical legal division of the chemical examiner's laboratory was also shifted to this laboratory. During the year 1955, a small unit of physics was established in the West Bengal State Forensic Science Laboratory to deal with various physical examinations of exhibits encountered in crime investigations. During the year 1957, the physics unit developed into a full-fledged physics section. On that year only, the footprint and the note forgery divisions of criminal investigation department was transferred to this laboratory and in the following year, general chemistry division of the chemical examiner's laboratory was also shifted in this laboratory. Hence, the first multidisciplinary forensic science laboratory came into existence in the country. Central Fingerprint Bureau On the recommendations of the Royal Police Commission of 1902-03, the first Central Fingerprint Bureau, CFPB, in India was established in 1905 at Shimla. It, however, suffered a setback and was abolished in 1922 as a result of retrenchment of proposals of the Inchcape Committee. On the recommendations of the committee, the CFPB restarted functioning from 1955 in Delhi under the administrative control of the Intelligence Bureau. The major role envisaged from CFPB was to coordinate the activities of State Fingerprint Bureau in tracing or locating interstate criminals. During August 1956, the CFPB was shifted to Calcutta and remained under the administrative control of IB. During September 1973, it was transferred to the Central Bureau of Investigation and during July 1986, the administrative control of the CFPB was transferred to the National Crime Records Bureau and was again shifted to New Delhi, Central Detective Training School at Calcutta. CDTS Calcutta, a premier detective training school in India, was established during 1956 and was co-located in the same premises with the CFPB Calcutta. The aim of establishing such a school was to impart training in scientific investigation of crimes like drug abuse, terrorism, explosion, crime against women, investigation of road accidents, and enforcement of traffic laws, etc., to the trainee from police, armed forces, and paramilitary organizations. Police officers from the neighboring countries like Nepal, Sri Lanka, etc., were also getting trained under Colombo Plan. Central Forensic Science Laboratory, Calcutta. The first Central Forensic Science Laboratory was established in Calcutta during 1957. To begin with, 
This laboratory was organized into four basic disciplines, namely forensic physics, forensic chemistry, forensic biology, and forensic ballistics. For application of nuclear methods of analysis to criminal investigation, the Neutron Activation Analysis Unit of CFSL Calcutta was set up in 1970 at the Bhabha Atomic Research Center, Trombe. During the year 1965, the second Central Forensic Science Laboratory was established at Hyderabad. The CFSL Hyderabad initially established analytical facilities in the disciplines of forensic physics, forensic chemistry, and forensic biology. The Central Forensic Science Laboratory, Chandigarh, was established in the year 1933 at Lahore, was shifted to Chandigarh during 1961. Over the years, many full-fledged forensic science laboratories were established in various states. Presently, CFSL Center of Excellence Biological Sciences is working under the Directorate of Forensic Science Services located at CGO Complex, Lodi Road, New Delhi, Central Forensic Institute, Calcutta. With the establishment of CDTS and CFSL, later on GEQD also, in the same premises under the control of Intelligence Bureau, the whole setup was named as the Central Forensic Institute, Calcutta. A post of commandant was generated during 1958 to look after the whole operation of these institutions which had diverse roles but with the common larger aim of providing suitable scientific responses to the criminal investigation method and administration of criminal justice in the country. CDTS at Hyderabad and Chandigarh. The Central Detective Training School Hyderabad was established in 1964 on the pattern of the CDTS Calcutta followed by another one at Chandigarh for the period of 1973. Their chief objective was to train the effective police personnel in up-to-date scientific techniques of crime investigation with an opinion to expand their professional standard and efficiency. Central Forensic Science Laboratory, Hyderabad The second Central Forensic Science Laboratory was recognized at Hyderabad during 1965. To begin with, this laboratory was organized into three basic disciplines, namely Forensic Physics, Forensic Chemistry, Forensic Biology, and Forensic Ballistics. Initially, the technical assistance and guidance was provided by Central Forensic Science Laboratory, Calcutta. The laboratory is situated in Usmania University. Presently, CFSL Center of Excellence Chemical Sciences is working under the Directorate of Forensic Science Services located at CGO Complex, Lodi Road, New Delhi. Let us recapitulate what we have learned in this module the, in the form of summary. The first Central Forensic Science Laboratory was recognized A at Calcutta for the period 1957. The second Central Forensic Science Laboratory was established at Hyderabad during 1965. On the approval of Royal Police Commission uh, in 1902 and 3, the first Central Fingerprint Bureau, CFPB, in India was recognized and established at Shimla in 1905. The Department of Explosives was established at Nagpur in 1898 when the first Chief Inspector of Explosives was selected. Further, five regional offices at Calcutta, Bombay, Agra, Madras and Gwalior, along with three sub-offices at Shivakasi, Gomia and Asansol were opened.